Hi, my dear student. How are you today? Are you good? Excellent. Welcome to our English class, okay? For today, we have a new topic. Our topic is first conditional, primer conditional. Our objective, to analyze the structure and the first conditional, okay? Now, let's start. First conditional. In first conditional, you have to join two sentences, okay? One is a condition, the second is the result. In the case of the condition, you, you use a grammar, and in the result, you use another grammar. Okay, in the condition, you have to use present simple, okay? And then you have to use the result, future simple. What is condition? Condition is like an action, okay? And the result is like a consequence, okay? Now, in the first conditional, you have to join for a present simple and future simple, okay? You have to join. Usted tiene que unir el presente simple y el futuro simple, okay? In the case of present simple, you, you have to remember about this rule. In the third person, he, she, and it, the verb, you have to uh, put s in the verb, okay? In the third person. And in the case of the future simple, you have to remember about the auxiliar. The auxiliar that we have to use in future simple is will. Very good, don't forget that. In first conditional, in the, in the condition, you have to use if. Always you have to use if and the sentence in simple present, okay? Then when you have to join or mix the sentences, you have to put a comma, okay? Then you have to write the sentence in future simple. Okay, let's to let's let's start with the exercise, okay? If she studies her comma she will pass the test. Okay. The condition if the girl study her study a lot all the time he, what is the result? The result is she will pass the test. Okay? In this case, if the condition in, and in the condition, in the first conditional, you have to use present simple. If I have money, comma, and you have in the result, you have to use future simple. I will buy a cell phone, okay? En el primer condicional tenemos que unir dos oraciones gramaticalmente. La primera está en presente simple y la siguiente está en, future, en futuro, ¿ok? Y siempre en la mitad cuando lo unimos va a ir una coma. Cuando comenzamos hablando con el if, que utilizamos en el presente simple, recordemos que en las terceras personas cuando hablamos de he, she, and it, el verbo le aumentamos la S, dependiendo de la regla como se le explicó en las clases anteriores, ¿ok? Después se pone la coma y el resultado es siempre con will, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, if significa sí. Si ella estudia, estudia fuerte, si ella estudia duro, coma, ella pasará el examen. Es una acción, es una condición, una acción que tiene un resultado. Por ejemplo, si tú ayudas en casa, tu mamá estará feliz, ¿ok? Si tú haces los deberes, tú pasarás el año, ¿ok? If you start, study hard, you will pass the test. In this case, if, if I have money, I will buy a cell phone, but... If I don't have money, 
I won't buy a new cell phone. The negative of, of will is won't very good or will not is a negative, okay? Let's explain that, okay? If you have get, uh, get good grades, comma, you will have a gift. If you have good grades, for example, 10, 9, you will have a gift, regalo. Si tú obtienes buenas notas, coma, es la acción que tú tienes que hacer. What is the result? ¿Cuál es el resultado? You will have a gift. Tú tendrás un regalo. ¿Ok? And now, eh, in this case, the result and the condition can change the position. How? For example, the condition or the action can change and the result can change. Okay. You will have a good gift. Uh, sorry. You will have a gift if you have get good grace. Okay. In this case, the, the result is that you will have a gift and the condition, uh, if you have get good grace. You can change, but what is the difference between both sentences? You have to look that. When you write if in the first part, the condition, you have to put comma in this, and you have to write the, the another sentence in future, okay? But when you change the, the sentence, for example, first the center with will and then the center in present simple, you don't have to write the comma, okay? Don't have to write the comma. Only you have to write the comma in this when you use first the um, present simple and then the future will okay uh, let's explain okay more exercise in this case if you feel sick i i feel sick i so bad i feel so bad okay what is sick Enfermo. If you, if you feel, feel sick, you coma, you go to the doctor. Very good. You have to go to the doctor. In this case, you what is a mistake? You go to the doctor. What is a mistake? Very good. In this case, you have to use the future will. You will go to the doctor. Very good. Excellent, my dear student. Now, continue. Index A uh, in this case. If you eat a lot of chocolates, what is eat? Exactly, comer. If you eat a lot of chocolates, of chocolate, comma, you will feel, feel sick. Okay, this is a result. In the first conditional, don't forget, you have to use if in the condition, in present simple, and comma, the next sentence is in future with will or want in negative. And don't forget the comma, ¿ok? En el primer condicional, no olvide que cuando decimos la acción o la condición que eh, realizamos es en presente simple, ¿ok? Y siempre va a ir con el if, que significaba que... Sí, muy bien. Si yo me siento, si tú te sientes enfermo, coma, la siguiente oración vendrá en futuro con el will en afirmativa. 
En negativa o en negativa podemos ocupar will, not or won't. Ok. You, tú irías al doctor. Tú irás al doctor. Ok. Entonces, es una acción que tiene un resultado. En la siguiente. Si tú comes mucho chocolate, coma. Si usted no pone la coma, cuando habla el if primero, utilizamos el if, está mal la oración. Don't forget that. No olvide eso. ¿Ok? And you will feel sick. Tú te sentirás enfermo. Entonces, la acción de comer mucho chocolate como consecuencia será que nos sentiremos enfermos, ¿no es cierto? Entonces, este es el primer condicional, ¿ok? Y usted tiene que recordar, importante, que se une dos oraciones gramaticales, la primera en presente simple, la segunda en future simple, eh, futuro simple, ¿ok? En present simple and future simple. And you have to use the comma. Okay, para unir las dos oraciones utilizamos la coma. Ok, this is all for our class, for, for our class, sorry, for our day. And what is your homework? Your homework is you have to copy in your, in your notebook the, this grammatic. Ok, now please open the, the document and you have to copy. Okay, and you have to send to classroom. Okay, my dear student, bye bye. Take care, see you later.